the tomato leaf miner moth, Tuta absoluta, is native to South America, where it was first documented in Huancayo, Peru, in 1917, and has been a documented pest in South America since the 1960s. Since then, it has expanded, first to Spain's Iberian Peninsula in 2006, incrementally moving through the Mediterranean Basin, as well as Egypt and Iran, for the next seven years, finally becoming detected in Ethiopia, Niger, Senegal, and Sudan in 2012. Most recently, it has been observed in Pune, India in 2014, and Kathmandu, Nepal in 2016. It has become a pest of solanaceous crops the world over, save for the United States, Canada, and a few other places. But most strongly is it a pest of the cultivated tomato, Solanum lycopersicum. Though it has recently been documented on Phasolius vulgaris green bean plants. It was estimated by Denu and others in 2011 that a total of 84.9%, 3.7 million hectares, and 87.4%, 133.7 million tons of world tomato crop surface and world tomato production, respectively, were directly threatened by Tuta absoluta, and this is held true. The tomato leaf miner moth can fly about 1,000 kilometers in a day and can be propelled by high wind currents as far as 4,000 kilometers, greatly facilitating local dispersal. Some female populations of Tuta absoluta are able to reproduce without the need for fertilization, a process called parthenogenesis, and this is a very rare trait in moths and butterflies in general. When it does occur, the process is often referred to as tycho parthenogenesis, meaning accidental parthenogenesis, in reference to this rarity. This asexual form is referred to as a parthenogen, and the offspring sex ratio of moth parthenogens is 50 50 50% male, 50% female. On Moneymaker tomato cultivars, 19 unfertilized Tuta absoluta females from populations collected in Saint Andoual, France, were shown to produce between 1 to 95 eggs, and an average of 10.7 eggs per female under laboratory conditions. The overall total was 203 eggs. Four females laid viable eggs, totaling 81 eggs, corresponding to a survival rate of 39.9%. Normally developed caterpillars emerged from unfertilized eggs, and 57 of these larvae, corresponding to a survival rate of 70.4%, reached the adult stage with a sex ratio of 1 to 1.5 male-female. This second generation's non-coupled female population had a statistically similar reproductive result. Three wild Tunisian populations collected from Korba, Chot Miriam, and Duguk, and raised on Sada cultivar tomatoes in 2013 laid 13.33%, 30%, and 50% viable parthenogenetic eggs respectively. It was noted in this 2013 paper by Abs and Chermidi that there was a trade-off between the asexual and sexual populations from Tunisia. Sexual populations of females lived shorter, but more fecund lives, whereas asexual populations produced many less viable eggs in contrast, living almost twice as long on average as well. Though found in some wild populations and shown under controlled conditions, it is unclear how persistent this trait is in the global population, and what the cause for tycoparthenogenesis is in this species. However, Skulljack and others note in a 2012 paper that there is a fixed infection of Wolbachia bacteria 99% similar to those found in Bumisia tabasi in Croatian tomato leaf miner populations from Castella and Apuzin as well as a close to fixation infection in Olsinja, Montenegro. Wolbachia is known to commonly confer parthenogenic traits in females of certain insect species, among several other physiological effects related to reproduction. Solanaceous plants are hosts of Tuta absoluta, and common non-crop plants such as Solanum nigrum and various Datura may allow a treated population to evade local eradication if not managed on crop property. Since Phasolius vulgaris has been documented as an alternative host, it is plausible that other alternative hosts may develop over time or already exist as climate and other factors influence population ecology and evolution. Several chemical controls have been used in the past reliantly, 
but populations have been observed to be resistant to many of these noxious chemistries, such as various spinosins, organophosphates, and pyrethroids. Biocontrols, such as the nematodes Steiner Nema felsiae, Steiner Nema carbocapsae, Heterorhabditis bacteriophora, have been observed to cause high larval mortality and low pupil mortality under laboratory conditions. Other biocontrols, such as the bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis and various insects like Nabis pseudoferus, Nisidiochorus tenuis, Macrolophus pygmius, and Trichogramma wasps, have management capability, but lack the increased tenacity and efficacy specialist biocontrol agents often confer against their pests. Populations of tomato leaf miner moth, known to be deuteroticusly parthenogenetic, are resistant to pheromone traps that attract males, as well as sterile insect technique, as the females in such populations can produce both male and female offspring and may do so if male presence or fertilization doesn't exist. Fatih found that the early Urbana Y tomato cultivar had the greatest proportion of predator density to moth eggs and larvae density, 5.09% in 2014 and 6.44% in 2015, the highest proportion of larval parasitoids density to moth larvae density, 3.92% in 2014 and 3.75% in 2015, and the greatest egg parasitoid density to moth egg density, again, 1.67% in both studied years, compared to Superstrain B, Superchief, Mobile, and Coral in one study. Goddery and others found that Primo Early and Early Urbana Y were least susceptible to infestation by the tomato leaf miner moth, while Cal JN3 was most susceptible, compared to Rio Grande, Pedomec, Super 2270, and Super Strain B. A strong correlation between acyl sugar content and resistance to Tuta absoluta has been documented as well in crossings of Lycopersicum esquilentum Tom584 and Lycopersicum penelii LA716. Progeny with higher acyl sugars performed better. The cultivar Tom600 was selected for high triticannone content, a result of parentage of Lycopersicon Heristum variety Glabratum PI134417, and is also considered to be resistant to the Tuta absoluta for this reason. Planting these cultivars may be useful in a holistic IPM program aimed at levying all possible disadvantages onto the pest to prevent establishment, though more resistant cultivars may develop in the coming years. Additionally, Kafagi found that intercropping tomatoes with spearmint, rosemary, geranium, and sweet basil increased biocontrol attraction of green lacewing, Pideris alferii, true spider, and coccinella species, respectively, in the El Raid region of the Kafir El Sheikh governorate of Egypt. Silicon foliar treatments under laboratory conditions have also been shown to have a toxic effect on larval tuta absoluta affecting the cohesion of their gut, ultimately killing them.